leave on a trip, there's someone is assigned, it's called the master, and he's assigned to do all the cooking and the meals. So pack as much food as he can in a box, and then that'll last for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we have stuff like pancakes, rice, eggs, spam, things like that. A lot of canned food, and then when we catch fish, then we eat the fish. We'd much rather have fish than spam. <laughs> This is the galley. And we'll just stay there. And Captain's box holds all our safety equipment like flares and this thing called the, and also a bunch of other things. This thing called an EPIRB, which is an emergency positioning device. So if anything ever happened, then the, um, if anything ever happened to the canoe in a storm or something, or we got hit by another boat, the EPIRB would tell the Coast Guard exactly where we are so that they can find us. Very important to have that. Um, you can look down there in that hole. That's one of our storage compartments. There's three on either side of the vessel. And inside there we keep our water and like um, our tools and, and any type of equipment that we need to keep. And our food also goes down in there. So if that's your house and at 3 in the morning they need to get out the bucket that has the crackers in it and you gotta take all your stuff out whether it's raining or whatever someone has to go down there and grab whatever we need and then we gotta come out with that. it's not very fun so. uh, the compartment just just behind this one that's where um mouse papa mouse sleeps that's where he stays and uh, he calls it his apartment he has a cute then a little window there where he watches us pretty much 24 hours a day to make sure that we're doing everything right and that we're not messing up or make sure we're going straight on course and not going like this. Yeah? If you start going like this, he kind of gives you a look. You know that you need to concentrate a little bit. designated as the fisherman because the hooks, yeah? You gotta be careful. If you get cut on the ocean, sometimes it doesn't heal as fast as on the land. So usually only one or two people is in charge of fishing. So only two people are working with the lines or working with the hooks and the knives. But yeah, we troll. With the, just with the hand line. And we usually have two. We caught uh, one sailfish, like maybe 30 pounds or something. And then we caught like maybe four and a couple otters. Not too many, but just enough to keep us content and happy. Our escort boat's been catching a lot of fish. They caught like a 300 pound marlin when we came in. Because they can run, they run like 10, 10 big fishing poles off the back. So they get more, more chance. <laughs> Part of our crew, like every time we come into a port, because there's so many of us that want to sail, that we can't all come at one time. So some of our crew is on there and then we'll switch. And then there's also people that just run that boat. And it's for safety. So if anybody ever fell overboard or somebody got hurt and we needed help, then they would be there for us. Yeah, they stay about maybe one mile or between one and two miles behind us. Into, unless we come into the pass or inside when we're close coming to land and they come close. But otherwise they just follow. Thank you. 
He would work from 12 to 6. So you can, when you're sleeping, he would be working. And then you just all night, yeah. Like if you work 6 to 12, then you work 6 to 12 at night too. And in the day. Oi, sorry, Cindy. And then we get our water is rationed. So every two days we get a half. But now we're getting lower to the equator. Like we're here, it's so hot. And almost not enough so a lot of us are you have to be really conscious that you don't drink too much you just drink only a little bit at a time you cannot just you know guzzle the water especially when you're eating and stuff you want to drink a lot you cannot everybody's always trying to conserve water when it rains then everybody's standing outside trying to catch their water or drink the water But otherwise you're in the way. Because if the other watch is working then They try to, um, so far, the canoes have only gone down to uh, Marquesas, up to uh, Tahiti. So, um, what they want to do is because they want to, because of the Polynesians in the legends, they used to sail throughout all of the yeah. Pacific and all of Polynesia, down to Rapa Nui, yeah. to Iroha, all the different places. So, so far, they haven't gone there. Yeah. And that's what this trip is about, yeah. to go to there. So they're taking on like uh, traditional type foods. Are they um, doing that or? No, they're no. probably going to do the same thing as okay. they usually do for sales, take on canned food, bottled water, okay. bottled water. Okay. Because I was wondering if anybody's actually done a long voyage using just all traditional stuff. Um, I know. Yeah. The first one is back in 1977. From? From Hawaii to Tahiti, they tried to oh. do it. Um, as traditional, traditional as possible. possible. But since and since they successfully did it, yeah. Then now we just go back to easier ways now. But so what they use, they brought like uh, preserved breadfruit, yeah, and stuff like that. Kalo. Kalo. Wow. Fish. 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 Yeah. But um, now like this voyage is specifically for Mao. Yeah. And each one has a theme, but it's easier for us to. All the canned food and stuff like that. Because yeah. that's what we eat on land. Yeah. And to prevent people from getting sick and your yeah. whole appetite changes. Yeah. Um, so we tend not to eat too much on, on the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Because of your body getting used to the, the rock so much. Yeah. You don't really eat as much as you would yeah. on land. And when you come back to land, you don't really eat that much until your stomach you starts to be yeah. open again. Yeah. So a lot of people do lose weight. Uh, I have <laughs> long voyages, it's easier to lose weight. Yeah. But the short voyages, you go from one island to the, to the next. Two yeah. days later, you're on the next island. Because yeah. when you're on the island, yeah. everybody has things for us to wake up, eat breakfast. By the time breakfast is over, you're at lunch at another restaurant. And by the time <laughs> lunch is over, you're at dinner at another restaurant. Yeah. Or somewhere where someone is hosting us. Yeah. <laughs> This is my next level. When the crew sees two lights flashing, 